Hey guys. Happy week four. We're almost done. We're almost there. That's so scary. Hello, I am Sylvie Vanon. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to one of the last <laughs> Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs of April. Where is my plot that in my account? Let's let's review. I'm a little behind. I don't know if you guys watched the last vlog or not, but I'm behind plot wise. This is the page I'm supposed to be on this week. This is the final page of the outline. This is the end of the book. I'm still on this page um, and I am here. I am right here so I have four more cards-ish left on this page before I am on track again. Today is going to be a catch-up day. Um, I have nothing else really to do today except write and like eat and make sure I don't die. We're gonna write! We're gonna write. I've already done a pretty good amount today. A pretty good amount. I think I've written like 500 words. So we're just gonna see how much I can get done today. I'm not gonna have a specific goal. Um, I mean I would love to finish the page that I should have had done yesterday, <laughs> but I will not have a goal. I will not have a goal. We're just gonna write. We're gonna see what I can do. We're gonna we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook. <laughs> Let's let's just let's just get started. Okay, update so far. We have two more plot points complete. Let's freaking go. Update progress. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hello. One gym trip and dinner and shower later, we are here. I just wrote a pretty good chunk, like maybe 600 words. Not bad. Um and now I am on to a whole new chapter. I've written two chapters today, I think. Like one and a half. One and a half chapters, because I think one of them I had already started. But we are on chapter 23. 23. Very exciting. I think this is going to be maybe 30 chapters. I'm not entirely sure yet. But I'm still, I'm right here. These are the last two plot points on this page. And I kind of want to get them done. But this, these two are quite beefy scenes. Well, I guess this one's kind of a beefy scene. This one's kind of an in, like, intense attack, defending themselves scene against the creatures. And then this is like the aftermath of the attack. And um, this one's sort of an emotional attack on one of the characters. So this one's relatively small. This one might not even be its own chapter, low-key. It might just be at the end of this chapter. So far, this is spanning two chapters because the one I'm about to start is gonna be like the second half of this scene card. Um, so that's that's fun. And then this is the final page. This is the final page of the book. I actually don't know how long this is gonna be, uh, like word-wise or chapter-wise, because this all happens in pretty quick succession. I feel like there's like four chapters on this page. And then that's the end of the book. That's so scary. But anyways, we're not we're not there yet. We still need to do this. So it is, it's time to walk back in. But this is a pretty crazy scene, so we're gonna just see how it goes. It'll probably not end up how I want it to exactly. I don't think that'll ever happen in my life ever, but <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make the best of it. We're gonna make the best of it. Let's do it. lighting's weird. Um, also my hair looks weird. Don't worry about that either. Um, anyways, hi. It is day 20, 23. It's past midnight, so it's technically day 24. It's day 23. Yesterday was my day where I was like, I'm gonna write as much as possible. I wrote a pretty good amount. I think I wrote over 2,000 words, which is nice. It's not something I'm able to do, uh, at all lately. That was nice. I finished three plot points, which was also impressive because one of those plot points was huge. Um, I actually finished the second half of it today, but I counted as yesterday because that made me feel better. Those three scenes were relatively large scenes, so I'm glad I got those three done. And 
so far I have finished that the second half of that third large scene from yesterday and I have also finished one plot point and have started the next one which means this page is done this page is complete we're now on to this one. Oh my god <laughs> I'm currently on this scene right here this first one this this is a pivotal scene um, it's not a huge scene like word count wise probably but this is a very important scene this the whole rest of this book from like the beginning of the previous page it's just downhill <laughs> it's just downhill in general but like this we're really starting to plummet here it just it just gets not good but this page is gonna go by so fast i know it after this right here this whole rest of the thing is like it goes by very fast i don't want to say anything because that's like major spoilers this is the end of the book at the end of the book it's very quick it's very this happens this happens the end very sad it's a very sad part of the book and when i write it i'm probably gonna cry but it's gonna go by very fast and then we're done so once i get done with this and this like we're set to go. I have this crazy idea that I could finish it today. Not gonna happen, I'm pretty sure. Also because I have to be up in the morning tomorrow uh, for work. So we're not gonna try and do that, but I would like to see how far I can get. At least finish this scene, hopefully get up to here. We'll see though, we'll see. I'm. Ugh, the rest of this book is just so sad though. And I just need to like emotionally prepare myself. I will not be ready no matter what I do, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to be ready. Okay, gang, that scene took me a little bit longer to write than I thought it would, and it's 1.15 in the morning, so I'm gonna call it a night. Good job, team. A few updates. I finished notebook number three. Very cute. She's done all the way through. Love that for me. And we are on to book four. Notebook number four. Um, this should be the last one. Hopefully 94 pages will be enough. But <sighs> the scene wasn't as emotional as I wanted it to be. I also don't think that I establish the big turning point, the big bad that I needed to in this scene very well. I feel like it could be interpreted multiple ways. It has two interpretations. Either that nothing actually went wrong or like if you are super paranoid and super like pessimistic i guess something is going wrong and something will go wrong and this is not going to end well which that is the correct answer good job but i feel like i need to make it more clear slightly to the reader that something terrible has happened in this scene so they can be ahead of the characters so that'll be a revision thing of course it's it's written though it's written though it's established in the story technically i know it's established in the story so we're good i am going to put my progress into the camp website and i will see you guys tomorrow for some more good writing hopefully yay time no see I feel. It is the 26th. Very exciting. <laughs> 26th. I've got coffee. Some updates because I haven't talked on here in a few days I think. First and foremost, I'm almost done with the book. I don't I don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight because I have some other stuff I need to do tonight but I might be able to finish it tomorrow night because I literally I have four plot points left. Four plot points left in like two chapters. I think that's what it's gonna be. I didn't actually think it was gonna happen and um now we're here. Now we're here and I want to say it's most definitely gonna happen but you know can't always be a hundred percent sure. We are in the sad part of the ending of the book where the main characters are grieving for a death that hasn't happened yet but that they know is gonna happen. It kind of uproots all their plans that they finally came together to figure out um at the end of the book. It's interesting to see how the two main characters react to it because the younger sister she's not very good with processing that kind of stuff her the thing in the book is that's just to see it to believe it reality 
of situations can't really sink into her until it's past and it's gone while the older sister does not have that problem if something bad happens she can foresee the implications and she can foresee what like goes wrong and she can freak out in that moment and like have a reaction then so seeing the two ways they're reacting to this new development is really strange really fun it's been interesting to write it's been interesting to write for sure i don't think i'm hitting the character notes that i want to as well as i could um that's just because i didn't establish characterization very well at the beginning of the book so you know that's a revision thing to do but i think the idea that i'm capturing is good it does just need to be fleshed out a little more and more impactful once I can set up the characters better at the beginning of the book. Um, but for right now, it works. It works and I'm happy. But like I said, I literally have four plot points left and it kind of jumps. It jumps like a week and a half in time, like over increments. So it's been very like chronicalized towards the end here, which I don't think I'm a huge fan of. It might work. For right now, that's the only way I can really get the story out um, and tell the information that I want to tell. That'll probably be fixed in the future, but for now, it is what it is. It is what it is. I want to show time passing. I want to show the virus developing one more time and really drive home the horror, I guess, of the transformation, how it slowly rids a person of themselves until it's just a body that the virus can take control of. So just jumping from days has helped be able to form that because the infection takes like roughly two weeks to take over the body. So, you know, every few days things get worse, things develop, things change and stuff. And I don't want to show every day as people are being transformed so we're cutting we're cutting a little bit but anyways i'm going to try and write a little bit because i have a meeting for my school in like 30 minutes so i'm gonna write until then do my little meeting thing and see what happens from there more writing question mark um probably not because i have to work on some other stuff for tomorrow um we'll see though we'll see good evening folks it is 11 43 p.m on the 27th about to be the 28th i feel like i don't need to say that but i am finishing this draft tonight believe it believe it it is getting done i am three or four plot points away from being done with this book yeah i've got three more this is gonna be the end of the chapter I'm on and then these last two are gonna be one chapter so we're like a chapter and a half away and I know it's gonna be short because I've never written it before so everything's gonna be very anecdotal which isn't ideal in like hindsight I guess but I am a chronic underwriter so it's gonna be super short the first time around and then once I have a better idea of what is actually going to happen in the scene it will get lengthen but for right now it's gonna be very short i'm hoping that if i focus and i just put pen to paper it won't actually take that long but we will see fortunately i feel like i've talked about this in the vlog already i feel like i haven't hit the emotional notes that i wanted to like this this ending of the book is incredibly sad it's grief before grief almost i guess grief before the death even actually happens because they know it's gonna happen and it's it's supposed to be like a very big war on emotions and i don't think i've hit those notes very well like i already said most likely because i did not set up the characters properly so even as the writer myself i wasn't as connected to the characters as i should have been that's a revision note that's a revision note i already have it written down somewhere right now i guess my priority is just getting the plot out getting the plot out we'll hit those emotional notes in the future but that is okay it's draft one i'll live i'm going to get to work I will see you guys on the other side, probably just for a little quick thing, and then I'll talk more in the daylight so I don't look evil. Guess what's done? <laughs> I don't think I need to reiterate it. I don't know if the emotional notes are there. That's probably a revision thing that I need to, like, make sure of, but I think it, I think it ended well. The, the way I, I brought together the 
final chapter and like the final conclusion and the emotional place that my main characters were in, I think it works. Pretty generic last line. That's all I could think of. Oh, I think it turned out good though. I think it turned out good. Draft one, draft one is complete. Oh my God. Here's the rest of this story. Four of these little notebooks. That is my story. Ah. It feels so good to have another draft of Project Glass done. I have missed the story. I can't believe it took so long to just pull myself together and write this story again. I won camp! It's technically the 28th now, but I still won two days early. That is a first in forever. I literally have not won a camp or a regular nano in maybe two years, maybe a year, probably a year. But still, we did it. I'll talk more tomorrow because right now I'm one, tired, and two, a little out of it because, you know. But before I leave, I do want to calculate, technically, kind of, not really, how many words this is. These pages are about 100 words. That's an average, and that is the standard that I will be using. Three hundred and twenty-eight pages. You could probably do the math in your head <laughs> already, but that is thirty-two thousand eight hundred words. That is not bad. <laughs> this book is really small. I knew that from the beginning. It's a short book. Thirty, almost thirty-three thousand by by my math is insane. But I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> with a more in-depth conclusion to this. For right now, oh my god, it's done. It's done. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we are sitting beside my bed on the floor today, so you know what that means. It's recap time. So, last night I finished Project Glass. Super cute. I did not think that was going to happen. I'm glad it did. I thought I was going to be scrambling towards the end of the month. Like, on the last day, I was going to be like just pushing through trying to finish it. But that didn't happen big win. I've already said this so many times, I don't think I hit the emotional notes I wanted to. The ending felt satisfying, but I think it felt satisfying because I know how I can improve it, and I know that once I do improve the story in those ways, that the ending will work better. Like, it was sad to write the ending of this book and like I felt emotional but that's because I know the characters and I feel like if someone who read the book read it in this state in the draft one state which no one is that would not be the same for them because they don't know the characters they don't know the characters like I do um I don't think anyone will ever know the characters like I do they're my characters but you get what I mean so that is that is main point number one for revision is fix the characters fix how I establish the characters. I know how the characters act. I know who they are and what they're working towards, but I just didn't represent that in the story very well. I didn't represent really how they conflict with each other a lot <laughs> in the book. That's like a main thing that I wanted to keep was how these two sisters don't get along very well for the most part. They obviously, they don't hate each other, but they get on each other's nerves. And sometimes they would rather be alone than have to be in the company of this other person. But when push comes to shove, they would rather die than be permanently separated. So I wanted to show that dynamic of being like, oh my god, she's so annoying, and then be like, oh my god, I literally could not live without her. Because I that's like sisterhood. <laughs> that that is that is what having a sister is. And I just did not put that in the book at all. And that makes me sad to know that it's not in there. So that is the main thing that I already know needs to happen. But otherwise, this draft really showed me that the outline that I had that I came up with for this draft, I think it works. I think it works. I don't think I'm gonna have to do like much shuffling around or adding and subtracting on this. It seems like a solid story, something that can still work um, even as the drafts continue on. Everything felt like it crescendoed towards the end. So that's good. My outline is good. That's, that's always promising. And like when I outlined this draft and I was like, oh, I need to focus on backstory. I want to be able to integrate more backstory into this. Next time, I'll have to integrate more character 
stuff into it, like demonstrations, I guess, of who they are. Because in this draft, it is very just go, go, go. This is one scene, this is the next scene. Like, we're, just, we're plowing through the story. And I feel like next time around, I'll just have to integrate more of like just everyday life for them because their whole life isn't really fighting against these glass arms. It isn't like a zombie apocalypse where creatures have like taken over the town and they're like living on like strictly canned food or like they're wandering through abandoned cities or something. Like they're in a town that is trying to be as normal as possible while being surrounded by these creatures. So I want to be able to show more of like just normal daily life for these characters that could also show how these two main characters interact. But given that I have already established most of the backstory, most of the world building that I need, um, and that I have a pretty solid plot, I'm hoping and I am guessing that the next time around when I work on this project again, should not be too hard to add what I need to into the book because I have a pretty solid foundation. I'm going to give this guy maybe like a month or two to just sit back, chill out, and then I will start revising and see if I'm right. See, <laughs> see if I establish the world and the backstory and the plot well enough to just have to integrate some character stuff. But that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe I finished uh, camp early this year. That's insane. That's not happened in forever. Um, feels good though. <laughs> How is camp going for you? How did camp go for you? Because this will go out uh, after camp is over. How did camp go? Hopefully good. Hopefully you're at your goals. And if not, hopefully you got some good progress into your writing. Let me know everything in the comments and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.